Hi everybody, Miss Megan here. Thank you for joining me for another online session of Children's Storytime. This week's theme is dogs because I'm thinking of introducing our summer reading theme now. It is Tales and Tales. So that'll start in the end of June. So as we wrap up here, I'll take each last story time to remind you of the summer reading program. So this week is going to be dogs because I think they have the best tales. So we're going to sing our good morning song, read some dog books, and then sing our goodbye song. So if you'd like to join in, we're going to sing good morning on the count of three. One, two, three. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with bright, shiny faces. And this is the way to start our new day. Good job. Are you ready to hear some dog stories now? The first one up is I Love Dogs by Sue Stanton. And it's illustrated by Bob Statke. And it is published by Katherine Teagan Books. And it is about all of the dogs that we love. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. Strong dogs, long dogs, nosy dogs, and cozy dogs. Lazy dogs, crazy dogs, chasing dogs, and racing dogs. Speedy dogs, greedy dogs. Dogs in the snow, and dogs that know. It says, please keep off the flowers. I love dogs. You see all the dogs that are on this page? There are so many. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. And it looks like those dogs on that page love him too. Spotty dogs, dotty dogs. Wrinkly dogs and crinkly dogs. Yappy dogs, happy dogs, fluffy dogs, and scruffy dogs. Prowling dogs, howling dogs, dogs in the park, and dogs that bark. I love dogs. That's him saying that right there. Surrounded by so many dogs in the dog park. Curly dogs, burly dogs, hairy dogs, and scary dogs. Naughty dogs, haughty dogs, shaggy dogs, and waggy dogs. Trendy dogs, bendy dogs, sniffy dogs, and whiffy dogs. Dogs that are famous, dogs that are smart, dogs in the news, Dogs in fine art. Dogs that wag tails. Dogs that chew bones. Dogs in big houses and dogs without homes. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. And it looks like there's a sign that says adopt a dog today. And guess what? Looks like he is doing just that. Getting a dog. And that's the end of I love dogs. There's so many different variety of dogs in that book. That's so fun. The next one, let's see if we can identify colors with this dog. Dog's Colorful Day by Emma Dodd, and it's published by Poppin' Books. So feel free to tell the colors out loud. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog in white with one black spot on his left ear. You see the black spot? Now get ready. At breakfast time, dog sits under the table as usual. Splat! A drip of red jam lands on his back. Now dog has two spots. The dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. Now the dog has four spots. And this is a blue one. So we'll go back a page. After breakfast, dog runs outside. He slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail drips into the blue paint. Now dog has three spots. Then he gets his green spot before it spots. Dog 
follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. No chocolate at all. Now dog has five spots. A bee buzzes up to see what's going on. Swish! A bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. Now dog has six spots. The dog trots on through the park. Sploosh! A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. Now dog has seven spots. Time to go home. Dog runs up the street. Splash! A bouncing ball spatters dog with gray mud. Now dog has eight spots. On the front of the gate, dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. Now dog has nine spots. Dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog! Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on Dog's head. Now Dog has ten spots. Vicky looks down at Dog. She counts his colorful spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a very dirty dog. Vicky looks more closely. Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a brown smear of chocolate, a yellow patch of pollen, a pink drop of ice cream, a gray splatter of mud, an orange splash of juice, and a purple smudge of ink, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. You need a bath, dog. The dog climbs into bed. He has just one black spot left on, on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you've had. He's dreaming of all types of bones. And that's the end of Dog's Colorful Day. So we got through all of the colors and got to see what he got into. Our next book is another book about a dirty dog. It's a classic story. It is Harry the Dirty Dog. And it is by Jean Zeon. Pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. And it's published by Harper Collins Publishers. And it is a silly story about another dirty dog who needs a bath. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting the bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and he buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and he got even dirtier. And he played tag with the other dogs and came dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran all the way back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked up and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show, him, show them all that he was Harry. He started to do all of his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, and then he flop-flipped. And he rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again. But everyone shook their heads and said, Nope, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and 
and walked slowly towards the gate. And suddenly he stopped. He ran to the corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. What are we saying? He found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly has never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl. Her father said, oh, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy! Daddy! Look, look, come quick! It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family called and brushed him lovingly, and he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been fun getting dirty. And he slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubby brush he'd hidden under his pillow. That's the end of Harry the Dirty Dog. You can see on the cover, it shows from white to black spots to black with white spots. So there are a couple dirty dogs in both of our books. One was colorful and one was black and white. So they were on a lot of different adventures. I hope that you enjoyed our dog books today. Keep in mind that um, this is the second to last story time. So soon we'll be having summer reading. Stay tuned for all of that fun at the end of June. The theme is Tales and Tales. So there'll be a lot of fun books. Okay, so after we read our stories, it's time to sing our goodbye song, which shows it's at the end of story time. I'd love to see your waving hands with me. Do you want to sing together? One, two, three. Goodbye, goodbye. Have a nice day, have a nice day. Have a nice day today. Goodbye, goodbye, have a nice day, have a nice day, have a nice day today. See you next time for our last story time, friends.